Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. Uh, today I want to talk about Wacom drivers or Wacom. I'm not sure how you really pronounce that. Um, we got a new driver released a few days ago on, on July the 27th, 2016. And I thought this would be a good time to talk about the driver support page and what drivers we actually use for our products. So let's just look at the support page first. If you go and Google uh, Wacom, Wacom or Wacom drivers, you'll get this support your way product um, drivers page. And on this page, you will see the latest drivers for the current Cintiq displays, you will see the latest drivers for the current Cintiq Companion 2, the latest drivers for the current Intuos Pro, the latest drivers for the current Intuos, and then on down the list. I'm not going to go uh, down any further than these first uh, few, because I'm assuming that most of my readers will have either a Cintiq, a Cintiq Companion, or something in the Intuos Pro family. Now these Intuos products down here, just to verify, they're like the old bamboos. They're an updated bamboo. So they're not quite up to the Intuos 5 or the Intuos Pro or the Intuos 4. They're, they're a, little bit, uh, a little bit lesser product than that. Um, I think they're probably fine for use with painter, but I've never had one, so I don't know anything about them. I'm going to keep my comments based on these first three objects. Okay. Now, what driver do I use for my product? Well, <clears throat> I currently have a Cintiq 24 HD Touch, and my product is listed right there. So I know what driver I'm going to use. I'm going to use that one. But I'm away from home right now. <clears throat> and so I couldn't bring my Cintiq with me and I'm going to be gone for a few weeks. And so I brought my Intuos 5 Touch. Okay, if I look down this page, nowhere does it say anything about an Intuos 5 uh, Touch. So what am I supposed to use? Hmm, good point, right? Well, I think I know the answer and I want to share that with all of you. But before we get going, we go any further, I want to bring your attention to something else. Notice that the driver for the current Cintiq Windows number and amount and release date is the exact same for the Cintiq Companion, and it is also the same, oh, also the same for the Intuos Pro, and the same for the uh, drivers for the current Intuos. If you look at the Mac, it is also the Mac drivers um, are the same between the different products, same OS same date, same size. What that tells me is, <clears throat> same numbers and everything, what that tells me is that each one of the Windows drivers for each one of these products are identical. So it doesn't matter at this point whether I download the Cintiq or I download the Intuos Pro, if I have one of these three products, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the the drivers are the same. Okay, I just want to get that out of the way to begin with. All right, so where do I find my Intuos Pro? And I'm sorry, my Intuos 5 Touch product. Well, if you look up at the top of the page, it says looking for software for an older Wacom product. Please use the drop down navigation to the right and select the product family or simply select all to view all downloads. Well, we're viewing all downloads, but I don't see my product. And so I'm going to click down here and I'm going to go to the Intuos Pro. 
Okay, now the reason I went to the Intuos Pro is because that's the family, the Intuos 3, 4, 5, that's the family uh, of these particular products. And when we go to the Intuos Pro page, we will see the latest driver for the current Intuos Pro, drivers for the current Intuos Pro. Now that's sort of confusing, but this is where uh, all of this begins to make sense, is why we have two of those. And then we have the drivers for the Intuos 3, Intuos 4, Intuos 5. Then we have a driver for the Intuos GD and a driver for the Intuos 2. Now, again, I'm assuming that most of you are not using one of these two products. If you are, I would highly recommend updating to one of these uh, later products. You'll be glad you did. The, the, they're far superior to those older products. So what I'm going to be talking about really pertains to these first three, although I think it will work for the bottom two as well. Okay, so what's going on here? Why do I have latest drivers for the current Intuos Pro and drivers for the current Intuos Pro? We're on the same um, operating system. It's Win 7, 8, and 10. Win 7, 8, and 10. The Mac 10.9X to 10.11. Mac 10.9 uh, 10 to 10.11. So why would there be a difference here? Well, that's the big clue. The difference is, notice this date over here. Um, those dates are the release date for the operating system, but it also tells you that if your OS has not been updated, like if you're on a Windows 7, 8, or 10 machine, and you haven't updated it since 12-21-2015, then you need to be on this download, this driver. If you have updated it uh, in 2016, then you want to be at this driver. So the real clue here is what OS are you using and where, um, when was the last time you updated? Okay. So if you come down the page, you'll see for the drivers into us three, into us four, and into us five. And remember, I have an into us five right here. It says use driver 6311W3 if you're using Vista, Win 7, or Win 8 and you haven't updated since January the 1st, uh, since January the 7th in 2015. For a Mac, you're going to be on 10.8 all the way up to El Capitan, but you haven't updated since uh, November of 2015. If you've updated, uh, okay, so so we're, we're looking at these updates. Now, I have an Intuos 5, but I'm on Windows 10. Well, if I'm on Windows 10, all of these products on this page are in the Intuos Pro family, and they all use the same driver as the Intuos Pro. So if I have an Intuos 3, 4, or 5, and I'm on Windows 10, and I've kept it updated to the most recent update, then I would use the latest driver. If I have Windows 10 and I haven't updated since 2015, then I would use this driver. I would use the 15.2 as opposed to the 17.3. Okay? Same thing for the Mac. If I'm on 10.8, um, let me rephrase. If I'm on 10.8, I have to stay down here. If I'm on Vista, I have to stay down here. But if I'm higher than 10.8, if I'm at 10.9 to 10.11, and I've updated to December of 2015, I can use this download. 
if I'm all the way updated to 2016, I can use this download, okay? Regardless of whether I'm on a 3, 4, or 5. So it all depends on your OS and when you updated last, okay? So <clears throat> if you are working with an Intuos Pro, you want to use the latest driver if you have your OS updated, upgraded to the latest OS and updated to the last update. Okay, use the latest driver. If you have any other Intuos type product, 3, 4, 5, and I'm assuming the GDN2, although again, I don't know, you can use the latest product. Now remember, if you have an Intuos that it doesn't have a 3, 4, or 5 to it, and it's not a pro, then you're on the other page. This is just for the old Intuos 3, Intuos 4, Intuos 5, and the current Intuos Pro. Okay, so let's go back to the page we were looking at. So basically what I'm telling you is that if you're in the Cintiq family and you have updated your OS, whether it's a Mac or Windows, to the latest one, then you use the latest download. If you're uh, using a Cintiq Companion and you've updated Windows or Macs to the latest, then use this latest download. If you're in the Intuos Pro family, which includes Intuos 3, 4, and 5, and you've updated to the latest OS then use this download. And bear in mind that the three uh, the three incidences of downloads, this one, this one, and this one, the three, the three windows, and the three Macs are identical. So it really doesn't matter whether you just use the one up here or the one below. Now I have loaded the in the I actually loaded this uh, download, loaded that driver on my computer with my Intuos Pro 5 Touch, and it worked fine. But that's because I'm on Windows 10 and I'm completely updated. I am 99% certain that if you're on a 3 or 4, it should work fine with these products if everything is updated to the latest update. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to do another video um, that talks about uh, installing and uninstalling. Again, I'm going to give you some new information on that. I have uh, previously posted that, but I'm, I'm going to update it. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.